Okay, here's another just quick thing I wanna show you about my Superflow that frustrates me, uh, just to give you an idea. So, um, this sounds like I'm bragging, but I'm not. This is my ported BRX head. It's like an SR20. It's the ASCAST version, and then I port it, and it actually flows better than the SR20, at least on my bench. Um, anyway, it's a good head, great head. Um, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this thing on, and I want you to watch the time on this video on how long it takes to get to uh, 28 inches, because that's what it should be flowing at. It won't get there, by the way, I'm gonna tell you. This thing flows like 527, 522, somewhere in the 520 range. Remember, this is 750. I just floated on the Sanyas, instantly there. I just wanna show you this, so frustrating. I'm gonna turn it on here. You can watch the flow numbers if you want. See how long it takes to get going. just because there's no sense to keep running it. 26.6 inches of vacuum. And it's 750 at 25 inches. Yeah, that's what they rate it for. Not even close. So if you're like, why do you like, why don't you use the Superflow? Because on heads that flow a lot, this 750 will not do it. Um, won't pull 28 inches. Sanyas will pull way more. Easy. I mean, I should have done a video when I slowed it on that because it's like, I'm open the valve 28 inches. It doesn't bother. No problem. This, you see a fighting, 26.6. That's the best it's gonna get us. Something that pulls 520 something CFM. So let's say I had something that goes higher like the Rangers show. You ain't getting 28 inches with that. There ain't it happening. Now granted, they rated it at 750 at 25 inches. It isn't gonna, I don't see it happening. Just don't, 563, whatever. Anyway, just more of my frustrations that I'd share with you.